Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie and today is a little bit different. This is my very first kind of reading vlog slash review of a book and I thought I would do something fun because over in a book group that I'm in, I'm in the 52 week challenge group where we read kind of like a book a week but we don't have to read that many. They're very easy going. I will link the book group down below in the description box but I thought I'd discuss the book that we are doing this month since there are over 300 people reading the same book or were interested in reading the same book so I'm very excited to talk about it and have fun there will be spoilers in this video so if you have not read this book just you know read the book first and then come back to this video <laughs> but first off take a look at my cute initial K mug with Mickey on it um, I decided to try a little bit different thing in here. I'm, I'm drinking it with, um, it's called like a skinny syrup where there's no sugar and no calories. I think I prefer honey, <laughs> honestly. Um, it kind of has like a weird aftertaste to it. It tastes great in cocoa, by the way, but kind of, kind of gets rid of the point of <laughs> trying to lose weight when you put it in cocoa, but it does... It does make it sweet, even though there's no sugar in it, but for some reason, for some reason, I just, I like honey better, so I'm going to stick with honey, but it's still, it's still pretty good. It's different. I think, like, I got, like, a, war, a like, a white caramel mocha or something, and I put it in honey, honey chamomile tea, so maybe, like, just, like, a black tea might taste better with it, probably. Okay, so the book we're going to talk about Today, well, this weekend is the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman, and I've been wanting to read this book for so long, and I got a bunch of people reading the same book. We're gonna have um, book discussion questions and stuff, but I am not that far in. I'm taking the weekend to read the whole thing. I'm on chapter 36, which is about 120 pages in, so I'm almost halfway through, but I am enjoying it so far. So. It is pretty clean. There has not been really too many swear words. I think there was like maybe one or two, but not like really bad swearing. Um, but I am enjoying it. It does remind me a lot of like those English type shows like Midsummer Murders and stuff like that. Or um, what was I thinking? Murder, She Wrote. Like it's small town. A whole bunch of older people are going to... Um, me are going to have a club called the Thursday Murder Club and they meet every Thursday to solve murders and crimes and stuff so we're kind of following them along along with two cops in the in the story that are trying to solve this case of this murder that happened in their small town and so I have some guesses about possibly did the murder but I'm probably wrong <laughs> um, but honestly I'd be really happy if I was right but yeah, so it's very, very interesting so far. It's a little on the slow side. That's why I said it does remind me of kind of those those British um, mystery shows where they're kind of more slow burn and you, you get to know every single character of the book. So it is a little harder for me to follow because there's so many characters. There's at least, at least six to eight different main characters. So there is a lot going on. So come join me as I continue and finish reading this book and I'll have more thoughts on it. So now we're going to get into some spoilers for the first half of the book. And then I'm going to have some more thoughts after I'm done with the book. So, um, spoiler alert. <laughs> but yeah, as we're talking about this, so Thursday Murder Club. Honestly, I was thinking like, would I join this club? And honestly, 100%, I would say yes. Like, even if I was the youngest person there and everybody was like over 70, I would totally, totally join in and try to solve all of these crimes and murders that they are just involved in. And I'm so excited that there's at least one more book. I think there's another book coming out besides the second one. So we're going to learn a lot more. Maybe there'll be more murders involved with each character. So I'm excited about that. I think so far my favorite character in this book is probably going to be the woman who does the who does the diary entries, Joyce. So she talked about how she was like, 
um, kind of on the quiet side. She was a person who um, you wouldn't figure who would want to be involved with murder and stuff. And so who knows, maybe, maybe we'll see what happens. But Elizabeth, Elizabeth reminds me of my mom like so much. She just, she talks all the time like my mom mom my mom will talk to anybody and everyone and she can pretty much talk anybody into doing anything nothing bad <laughs> but like if something happens we're like we can't get a dinner reservation or something happens where you know she had a late bill but she always pays your bills so like she you know she she talks nicely to them and they just waive the late fee because she just yaks them up and chats with them and <laughs> She's just crazy that way. So my mom definitely reminds me a lot, or Elizabeth reminds me a lot of my mom, definitely, especially the talking part. Also the niceness, because she seems pretty nice. Um, let's see. Spoilers. So ideas about the killer. Now, I really wasn't sure, honestly. Like, there's not really a whole lot of suspects. So I was thinking that maybe it could be one of the people involved in the club, but... That could be a bit of a stretch in my brain. So I was going to say don't spoil me in the comments, but I'll be finishing the book by the time this video goes up. Okay, so, yeah. So Chris and Donna, the two cops, I actually really like the way they work together. I think they kind of offset each other. They're not really good cop, bad cop. I want to honestly say Donna is probably the bad cop. Um, Just that she's more, she seems more professional at least in the beginning versus Chris who kind of um he kind of just goes along with the older people in the club and there's one scene where they're kind of crowding around him to get information out of him but they but he doesn't know it so he's trying to be polite um without seeming uncomfortable to insult to insult them and all the time they know they're making him uncomfortable trying to get information out of him for the crime so I just thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious. Also the fact that the one lady in the club, she made like some kind of cake or bread dessert for him and there was alcohol in it and he didn't know it. So yeah, he probably had loose lips a little bit about the investigation at that point. I thought that was kind of funny. Let's see what else I can talk about this book. Um, I don't really have too many thoughts about it yet. There seems to be like an underlaying of like maybe a, a mobster feel to it almost, or maybe like some kind of thing that, that's going on with like construction and stuff. I'm not sure, quite sure what to think of it. I listened to like the first 18 chapters. They're very short chapters. Um, but I, fit, I listened to the first 18 chapters on audio, but that had to be returned to the library, so I had to finish it this way. Excuse me, I think audio. I think on audio I understood it less, probably because I, w I had a hard time paying attention, but I think I'm enjoying it better just reading it this way, and I can pay attention more and learn more about the characters. So, yeah, so I'm kind of learning everybody's name um, so far. Uh, some, so the, the names are easy where I can remember each character and kind of the differences of each of them. Because I do tend to have a hard time with, with a big cast, but I think, well, I think I'm doing okay. So I'm going to go ahead and continue reading this with my cup of tea. And I will see you, see you shortly for another update. Sunday. I just got home from church a little while ago. Um, I just filmed a planner video for my other channel. I always link my other channel down below if you want to check it out. It's all about planners and Bible journaling and stuff like that. All the art stuff's on that channel. This is my book channel. So if you're new here, obviously welcome. Although this is the middle of the video, so I didn't have to say that, but I'm filming this clip another day. 
If you can tell, the rest of the videos this coming week are going to be about as scatterbrained as that sentence was in the middle of this video. <laughs> oh boy, it's been a really weird week. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, got home from church and filmed a couple videos, filmed a couple of book videos, and now I am enjoying my cup of tea that I've been having all week. Um, you'll be seeing this cup in every single video this week. <laughs> but yeah, so I am about halfway. Okay, spoilers. Again, spoilers alert. I'm about, no, I'm more than halfway. A little bit more than halfway through the, the Thursday Murder Club. Really enjoying it. Um, spoiler alert. The bad guy that I possibly thought was the killer, but like I wasn't like definite on him, died. So... There's that. Uh, I do not think he's the killer now. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm sticking with my first initial thought that somebody from the Thursday Murder Club is involved. I'm just saying. Just gotta, I'm just saying. I think there is. I'm probably wrong. I could be wrong. I just have this feeling, you know, or like one of the older people from the from like the community center. Like I just feel like one of them did it. I don't know. Am I wrong? Don't tell me I'm wrong. No, you can tell me if I'm wrong. Because this video will come up after I finish the book. But yeah, so he died and was killed during the time where he, you know, was at like the place ready to tear down the cemetery there. So somebody there had to do it. So I'm kind of thinking that one of the people from the Thursday Murder Club might have done it. I don't know, I'm kind of suspecting the quiet one. I'm expecting her. <laughs> but um, the one who does all the diary entries, I can't think of her name right now, and my book is downstairs, but she's the one I'm suspecting, possibly. I don't know. This is kind of like a follow along, see if I can solve it mystery, but I don't know. I don't think it's Elizabeth, because she was away during most of like the thing, although she could have gone away to avoid suspicion. Just a little chat and trying to solve this with you all. So yeah, so that's my initial thought is it is Joyce. Joyce? Joyce. I think it's Joyce. Um, but yeah, I think she might be the one. Or Ron. I don't know. So I'm excited. I'm gonna finish reading the book and I will do a end of the book wrap up. Let you know. Again, spoilers throughout this video. <laughs> so if you didn't know if you want to know any of that, then you should not have watched. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm going to go finish my book, relax, take it easy, cozy up in a really warm blanket because it's kind of chilly in this room. So I will see you all as soon as I finish the book. Okay, I am 70 pages away from finishing this book and I still can figure out who did it. I've got more suspects. There's just too many characters in this book. So I'm having a hard time trying to figure out exactly who did it in this book. So I will update at the end of the book and figure out if I'm right or not. Kind of hoping I am, but I don't think I am. I thought I was originally one of the members of the club, but now probably not. But we'll find out together. Okay, so it is a little past midnight, if I'm correct. Yes, a little past midnight on Monday. I'm sorry this video is going up a little later than I thought it would, but I literally just finished this a couple minutes ago, and I was kind of like half right solving this. Kind of weird. I'll explain. But um, so I was guessing in the beginning that it was that it was a person in the older community buildings. I was right on that. I was not right on the person. I was not expecting who did it and for what reasons that that person did it. But so yeah, so I kind of have solved that. And then I kind of solved Tony's murder, the first murder in the book, a little bit. Like I had a feeling it was that character, mostly based on one line that he said in the book. I uh, I don't know if I talked about that, but yeah. So, spoiler alert, if you're watching this by now, but the character Brogdon, I think that's his name, but when he said that he, he was willing to do kind of anything, like that line just kind of stuck in my head throughout the entire book. Like, if he's willing to do anything, then maybe he 
committed one of the murders. So I got that part partially correct. So yay. <laughs> um, was not expecting Penny to be involved at all, like at all. So that was kind of a shock. Um, but yeah, so um, I ended up rating this book three stars. I enjoyed it, but to me it felt like kind of watching a, um, yeah, kind of watching like a British crime show and I'm not a huge fan of those. I'll watch them, but like as for those shows, I also give three, I would give three stars. So I did enjoy it, but there was a lot of twists and turns, like almost too many for me. I know that sounds weird to have too many twists and turns, but there was just so much happening. Like nothing happened in like the first half of the book. Like it was, it was kind of slow paced, but like the last third of the book, it was just so fast paced and so many twists and turns. And I was like, I felt my head spinning. I'm like, okay, I just need to finish this, but I did enjoy it. I will be continuing the series and see what happens. I did enjoy the older characters in the book. I thought they were funny and charming and just a great bunch of friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I honestly don't even know what I really talked about because I did this video in like four days. Like this wasn't like a one day video. So, but I hope you all have a wonderful night and I will see you all in the next video.